Hello Libra and welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I am Fifi. For those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are most definitely welcomed as well. This is a safe place for everyone. There is no judgment here. So Libra, as the uh, title suggests, uh, we are going to explore your weekly love reading for you and your person. So whether you are in contact with them or not, um, you know, let's focus on the person that is most on your mind. Okay. Now, Libra, there will be an extended to this. Uh, the link to the extended is below and I'm offering it at a big discount. So if you wish to rent it, it's $2.00. And for those that wish to purchase the video for life, it is $4. And stay tuned because next week, all extendeds will be a lot more cheaper as well. So I'm getting a lot of emails uh, if I'm open to tarot readings, uh, personal tarot readings. And the answer is yes. So I'm also offering them at a huge discount, almost 50% uh, off for 30-minute readings, one-hour readings. So that's where I focus on you, your person, and your current situation with them. So all of that can be found below uh, my gorgeous Libras. So let's get straight into it. You and your person, the one that you are thinking about, whether you're in contact with them or not, whether you're connecting with them or not, whatever the situation may be, I will explore it, all of it for you. So Libra, I do apologize if I start talking very fast. It's only because sometimes I get a lot of messages and I want to make sure I say all of it. Um, to you within this reading without making it too long. Oops. Okay, so for Libra, please. Weekly love reading, whoever's on their mind. For Libra, please. Okay. Okay, we've got the Ten of Wands. Okay. Okay, so it hasn't been easy for you. There's been a bit of setbacks, yeah. Seven of Swords. I'm seeing some trust issues here. Another seven here. Seven of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords is the heart of the entire reading. It's dominating the rest of the spread. You might be feeling quite uh, defensive at the moment, having your walls up concerning a soulmate twin flame relationship here. Two of Cups. We have the Page of Wands. Okay, we've got a message coming in for you. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. Could be dealing with an Earth sign. High Priestess. Pisces, Cancer Energy. They're coming to reveal something to you. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. Hmm. Okay. Actually, I was curious. There's the Ten of Cups at the bottom. Yeah, there's been some ending here uh, recently for you, Libra. And it's been quite painful as well. you got three Tens. Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands. You've got the Nine of Wands there. So already from the bat, it's really showing that uh, the road to be where you are right now. Sorry for the shadow. The uh, light has actually gone... It's gotten away from me. <laughs> so uh, so with the Ten of Wands as your first card, it's really showing that the road to be where you are has not been easy. There's been setbacks. There's been tension. Um, yeah, you're still very defensive here, though. But it's definitely, um, it's definitely about someone that you're connecting with that has not been honest with you. This is the, my card of lying, cheating, stealing, being strategic, sneaky. Trying to get away with things behind your back, though. But because the crow here is calling very loud, someone called it out. I'm feeling that you did. And some of you are feeling that this was kind of like a waste of time, a bad investment on your part. Um, yeah, especially because you're feeling betrayed and backstabbed here. So you're taking stock here with the Seven of Pentacles, um, really thinking, I don't really want to go back to that. So if anything here, uh, Libra, you're trying really hard to move on. You like things to be equal and just. With the scales, you know, equal. But, yeah, you're trying to move on to calmer waters here. Absolutely. Um, you do want to move on. Absolutely. I see this. But I do feel like your person also wants to move on with you, though. Are you going to allow them? Mm, so far, I'm not seeing it. Only because you're very defensive. We've got the nine of wands. You're cool. You're calm. You're composed. But as you see with her face, it's like, just don't get any closer to me, please. Your walls are up. There's a lot of chatter also. Um... 
towards about what happened with your relationship. No doubt your relationship. Sorry, I can't talk. No doubt, though, this was a twin flame soulmate relationship. There was a lot of love. Absolutely. At the start, it was fantastic. But something happened. And, yeah, you called them out on this. Uh, but they are coming with a passionate message here. So they're not coming yet as, you know, a, a knight or a king. But they're testing the waters with you. Now, for some of you, though, there may have been an intrusion here of someone else Okay, now it could have been, yes, a third party, um, or it couldn't have been like a mother, mother-in-law figure, um, someone of influence here. Uh, but yeah, no, they're definitely seeing you as someone that takes care of themselves, you're well-balanced here, you look after yourself, you dress good, you smell good. Yeah, no, they hold you in high regard though, that they are um, ultimately coming here to reveal um, information to you. Everything that was hidden is going to come to the light now. You know, after this abrupt, sudden ending, it was quite painful. A lot of you are feeling backstabbed here. Yeah, see, they're coming in with an apology and they want to win you back. Some of you may have been on the verge of getting married to this person. Some of you were, but now there's a separation. Um, if that's not um, your story, there was still a lot of love here. There was that potential to have that family. So... Yeah, there could have been an age difference as well, or you probably thought that they were being quite immature. There could have been children involved, even if they're teenagers or young adults. Doesn't matter, there were some children involved. Uh, that's not for all of you, though. Uh, but, yeah, no, they're coming back in, and they want to reveal more information, stuff that was hidden from you. Yeah. I'm also thinking that, you know, some of them actually kind of hid information for you, from you, sorry, not to like do it on purpose or not to hurt you. It was just more that they just thought it would be better if you didn't know, you know, they didn't want to reveal everything. But when the high priestess is there, you know, she's basically saying, no, if you're going to deal with a Libra that likes things to be equal, equal give and take, balanced and just, you've got to reveal everything. You've got to say everything. You know, or else Libra, you're going to be on your merry way. And there's someone else that would be just as happy to snatch you up. So let's get more information. This is just a basic outline of the story. But let's get a lot more information about exactly what happened. Let's get more information about energies. So, all right, for my dear Libra. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling, I'm hit, there's like really heavy energy around you, within you. And I feel like a lot of you just want to escape. Just get away from it. Start fresh in you. A lot of you actually do want to travel as well. Uh, relocate overseas. Whether if it's work. Oh, whoa, that fell. Um, whether if it's just for work. Um, or just to start new. It's like this desire just to get away. These cars are very slippery. All right. For Libra, please. Yeah, we got the moon. We've got more Pisces energy. We've got more um, Cancer energy here. Yeah, so, you know, that wedge, you know, that fracture in the relationship was that there was too much. There were too many secrets. Um, you know, it's it's almost like they said stuff, but they meant it like some some other way. Um, like they, It's like if they said, I'm going to go here, but really they were going somewhere else, keeping hidden information from you. It caused, it caused a very big burden in the relationship, though. We've got the Ten of Cups again. Yeah, this is just... You know, for me, it's deceit within the relationship here. Within the family unit, there definitely couldn't have been children involved, um, engagements, marriages, um, or it was the dream of going there. And it was like false hope. It was like a false dream here. You feel like everything was fake. Yeah, but they're coming back in. Look at that. They're coming back in with that love offer. Um, I'm also sensing an apology as well, but you do not trust this person. Definitely do not trust this person. I feel like the trust has been lost. Yeah, four of wands. They see longevity with you, but it definitely couldn't have been an engagement. Definitely couldn't have been a marriage here. Some of you are saying that it's your husband, it's, it's your wife. Yeah. they. Bro I'm, I'm hearing that they broke the family unit. They broke apart the family here. And now they're trying to come back crying, you know, please take me back. Poor me, though. Um, If you were not up to that stage of getting engaged or married you know he's wearing a committed relationship it felt strong at least it felt strong though yeah so we've got sagittarius energy here could be dealing with one um but really what you're desiring now libra is peace and harmony it's desperately needed after such turbulent time balance taking things slow pausing now 
I feel like Libra, some of you really want alone time here after what happened. Yeah, we got the Five of Swords. If you see, there's too many people here. And, you know, one is actually just crying. She wants to walk away. You know, your person wants to win at all costs, but at what cost? It's loss, it's deceit, it's starting over again, turning back around, doing things different though. But I do feel here that, you know, they, they're going to fight for you. But I feel like Libra, the hurt is too much for you. Yeah, we've got the lovers here. Gemini energy. So this was definitely a soulmate connection though. But I do feel that as much as they want to move on with you, you want to just actually move on on your own. Because yes, there, there is love. There is love waiting for you. So the question is, uh, do you want to go back to this person? Or, I mean, do you want to open the door back to them? Or do you actually want to move on? Look at that. We got, this is amazing. The six of swords and the six of swords together. Yeah, when we get the same message, the same cards from different decks, it's just really spirit solidifying the message. It's really affirming the message here that one wants to move into karma waters and Libra, I feel like you want to move on. Possibly even on your own. Knight of Wands. Yeah, they're coming in with a passionate message and you're defensive about them. You know, um, it's almost like you'll hear them out, but that's probably as much as you'll take it though. Only because, you know... <laughs> Knight of Wands is notorious. It can be a player energy. I don't always get it, but in this instance, yeah, um, this is not for all of you. It's like for that, you know, 0.1% that are watching this, yeah. They may have been extra flirty with other people, even with friends, um, inappropriate text messages, behavior, even in front of you, behind your back as well. Um, but they're coming in with that passionate um, energy, that passionate message. They're always almost certain that you will take them back though, but yeah, some of them are in for a very big surprise. We have the Seven of Cups here, so it's the choices here. What are you going to do, Libra? And this is, I'm saying this for the people who are on the fence, who haven't actually made up their mind yet, who don't even want to think about it yet. You know, if you don't know what to do, then don't do anything at the moment. But we do have choices here. It's like one day you want to hear them out. You don't want to lose this family or this committed relationship. Other days you just want to move forward on your own. So there's a bit of emotional confusion there. Knight of Swords, they're definitely coming in. Swords pointing up, they're coming straight at you, they've got something to say, they might come, come in quite aggressive, they don't want to let you go, they'll fight for this though. And they're coming in with truth and clarity. But you know, I'm just still sensing here that even though the love is there and it's mutual, because you did get the lovers and the two of cups though, but um, you still cannot forget that of this painful ending, the ten of swords. So let's not forget Libra that you did get the ten of swords twice. Okay. I'm kind of feeling that if you did revive this, if you did want to give this person another chance, it wouldn't probably last long. They'd probably revert back to their old ways again. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune. All about divine timing. They want forward movement with you. Um, you could be dealing with the Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. Got some fixed, fixed signs there. Yeah, but... You know, I'm kind of feeling that your happiness is somewhere else. Oh, wow. Well, what I was just saying, King of Cups. Oh, there is a lot of love here, but I'm definitely seeing that there is someone else coming. We've got the Two of Pentacles choices here. Yeah, there we go. So now we're getting more of a story now. There is someone else. It could be someone that you know as a friend that could be older than you as well. Um, some of them could be a father figure, have children of their own as well. Um, yeah, some of them actually could have their own business. And here's the choices, the pros and cons. Do I go back to what was familiar or... Do I go to unfamiliar territory with this person, though? But there is a lot of love here. There's a lot of maturity, though. Yeah, see, we've got the world. The cycle has been completed. I do feel that Libra, this new person that comes, and I feel like they're quite near your energy. They're around, like, your perimeter, you could say. Um, I feel like there's happiness here with this person. I feel like this other person that's on your mind that's trying to come back, uh, yeah, I don't think they're going to change. Can you trust them? I don't think you can. So on the High Priestess, we've got the Six of Cups. Yeah, they're definitely coming back. There could be children involved. You may have known each other for quite a few years. If you didn't know each other for, uh, you know, a couple of years, then, you know, it definitely felt like it was just, it was the one. It was a committed, it was a solid relationship. But lo and behold, there was a lot of stuff going on behind your back, though. Yeah, look at that, the devil. Capricorn energy. But there was something absolutely toxic happening behind your back. Could have been a karmic they were dealing with, allowing them to keep coming back into their life. So Libra, this is the thing, you know, the roles here can be reversed as well. You know, are, are you wrapping things up with a karmic as well? 
Um, now, of course, we're not saying that all Capricorns are bad. It's just the energy here, something tempting. You know, the, the devil is the card of extremes. That's what's happening here. And yeah, I am, I'm definitely seeing children here, but I feel like also, Libra, you need to wrap something up as well. What's at the bottom of the deck? Five of Wands again. Look at that. There's too many people involved. Everyone's arguing. Even the cats are arguing. Look at that. There's too much chatter, too much competition. And I, you know, obviously, please reverse these roles if it applies to you, though. Because, um, you know, I am trying to read for the collective, all the Libra around the world. But um, there's too many people involved, too many opinions. You should do this, you should do that. And no one should get involved in your relationships. I say that, I sound like a broken record. I say that a lot with um, all my readings. But uh, yeah, no, there's, there's challenges. People want to trigger you. People want to argue with you. Best thing to do is walk away. That's the best advice with the five of wands is retreat. Okay. And, you know, if you stand up for yourself, you stand up for your beliefs. Um, you know, if people respond negatively or, or they don't respond positively, that is their problem. That is not yours. Um, but I definitely see you moving on, though. Yeah, but there is a cycle here that needs to be completed, Libra. It's either you or your person. A cycle has to be completed with a karmic. We cannot proceed on anymore, but um, yeah, let's see. Yeah, we've got that ending there, Scorpio energy. Something came to an abrupt end. If it hasn't already, it will. Breaks both of your hearts, but it has come to an end. Absolutely. Yeah. We've got wish fulfillment here. I feel like you will find your wish somewhere else. Now, you are that person's wish fulfillment, but there's been just too much to see here. Yeah. And your wish is coming somewhere else. Absolutely. Queen of Swords. Look at that. Yeah. Could be dealing with an air sign. The sword is pointing up, though. Yeah. The sword's pointing up. This could be a divorced woman, someone separated as well. Could be a widow person. But it's, um, there's, there's, there's truth and there's clarity coming forward. They have something to say to you. King of Pentacles, yeah. King of Pentacles is, <clears throat> you know, it's, again, for me, a father figure. You could have children of your own or the, the other person could have children, though. But no, I see you moving on, though. Someone a lot more stable. You can't trust the other person, though. So we've got here the Four of Cups. Now, Four of Cups, you know, is really kind of dominating the entire spread here. It's the heart of the reading. It shows up as a stalemate, you know, at the moment. You know, romantically, not much is happening. It's the card of boredom, sadness, a bit of depression. Um, there's a missed opportunity here as well. We've got the Strength card, Leo. Yeah, but you're being very strong and courageous, building up your strength, moving forward, moving on. Yeah, this new person wants victory with you. They're coming straight towards you. They're looking straight at you, though. Yep, and look at that. They are your wish fulfillment. Aquarius energy. So notice how the energy is getting a lot lighter, though. And yeah, see, we've got here that you're um, very defensive towards your person, but also um, they're willing to fight for this, though. The bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Rods again. We have, that is the Knight of Wands. So, yeah, most definitely someone is coming here with a passionate message uh, towards you. So, I feel, Libra, a lot of you will be walking away from a karmic, obviously. You need to walk away. You've got the world. That cycle needs to be completed, though. Do you trust this person? Absolutely not. I don't. I feel like they will fight to be back in your good books, but I don't think it's actually a good idea. They're not going to change, though. Uh, but there is someone else here. They are, you know, your star. They see you as a star. There's a lot of love here. And yeah, you got the world. The cycle's completing, though. I see definitely there's someone else coming in, though. It's divine intervention. Absolutely. So I'm going to clear the deck. That means, so I'm going to clear the table. I'm going to take this to the extended. I'm going to use different tarot cards, different oracle cards as well. I um, want to find out also still about this person, but more about this new person that's coming towards you as well. Um, and yeah, like probable outcome, more information as well, Libra. I will see you over there. But if this is where we depart, I wish you all the very best, Libra. Take care. Bye.